You are watching ACC Women's Basketball presented by Ally. And tonight we come to you from, as usual, a sold out Reynolds Coliseum where Virginia Tech is in town to take on NC State. Georgia Amor, last three games, has been spectacular, putting her team on her shoulders. And Isaiah James can be explosive, can score in bunches. Not a ticket to be had. Virginia Tech has won five straight games overall. And Virginia Tech is the last team to beat NC State in this building. It happened just over one calendar year ago. Liz Kitley and Sanaya Rivers jumping up. And Rivers will have the ball in her hands first for NC State. I think it's going to be important for NC State to establish an attack mode. Yes, guards off the bounce right away. Isaiah James for two. Isaiah James is on quite a tear in the last five games, averaging over 20 points per game. There's the Virginia Tech starting lineup. Amor, one of the best point guards in the country. Matilda Eck, one of their best three-point shooters. The Michigan State transfer. Olivia Samuel has been in the starting lineup for the last half dozen games or so, and that is unstoppable for Kitley. <laughs> you know it's coming. River Baldwin did a good job of taking up the space of Liz Kitley, and she makes it anyway. And there's the starting lineup for NC State. A lot of turnover from last year. River Baldwin did not, by the way, play in the first matchup. She was out with the hurt ankle. Another attack at the basket, this time by Madison Hayes, failed to go. There's Amor to her buddy Kitley. So efficient. And Georgia Amor and Liz Kitley know exactly where one another are going to be, putting each other in positions to be successful. And Rivers looking back at Coach Moore to get some instruction. And Georgia Amor calling out the play, making sure her teammates know. Well, Zaya James got off to a great start the other day against Louisville. She had 28 points in that and five quick ones here tonight. She's been hot. If you're going to switch that on-ball screen, you've got to make sure you're switching up the line, not allowing space and time for that shot. Pitley over the outstretched hand of River Baldwin, and she has all six. Right now it's Elizabeth Pitley six, Zaya James five. Well, defensively, you're going to see a lot of different coverages from both teams. Virginia Tech going to switch their big guards. And Isaiah James continues to go to work. He is not missing anything. You're going to see the steady dose of this two-man all night long. Good hands. I love the length of Sanaya Rivers on Georgia Amor and going coast to coast. Tonight, Rivers did not hit a field goal against Louisville 0 for 5, and Coach Moore would like to see her do more of that, attack the basket. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think the Virginia Tech guards can contain Sanai Rivers and Isaiah James off the bounce. They've got to continue to attack. Matilda Eck with a three. She had four threes, and there went on Sunday at North Carolina. Baldwin working against Kitley, who fouled it. Baldwin, an 88% free throw shooter. As we take a look at the ACC standings, a lot on the line. Right now, Virginia Tech is in first place by themselves, stayed a half game behind in second. So Tech trying to get some distance to them. Amor around the Kitley screen. Now, she somehow slithered by everybody. She's just so crafty. So crafty. She understands where she is. She has great body control. She's poised with the ball, doesn't get rushed. Isaiah James, oh my, oh, that's just sick, Pam, just sick. Long two, she already has nine points. And she sets you up because she goes to the rim early, right? She can get to the rim, she's still going to her left hand, stays on balance, gathers, and finishes. Strapped to Kitley, there's that combination that we just spoke about. Kitley trying to catch up now with James, she has eight points. Looking against River Baldwin on this end. James that time misfired. Here's Amor out of the gate. Slashing oh, in. Oh. Nice little shovel pass to Strzok. Had it knocked out of bounds. But boy, Amor 
What a great point guard. And she has now gone into the top 10 all-time in assists in the Atlanta Coast Conference, and she has passed our own. Yes, she's in the building. Ivory Latta, you're now number 11. Ivory must be hiding out right now because we can't find her, but pushed out of the top 10, Ivory. Latta, such a great player for North Carolina, and it's so good, it's so great as Strat goes to the line. We have the nothing but net crew here. I know. How awesome is that? This environment, this game has been circled on a lot of our calendars for a long time. So what an opportunity to share this with them. We were thrilled when we heard they were coming. They're on site. We will hear from them at halftime. Now Zoe Brooks in the headband, not wearing goggles for the last couple of games because she's now wearing contact lenses. So the headband is back without the goggles. Collins spins up. Well, Brooks is a great freshman who is on a nice little roll herself in the last couple of games. Menzel in, number one for Virginia Tech. Back up point to Amor, playing with her now. I like this, the two-man game. We're going to put River Baldwin in it. Look to exploit. See the full rotation by Mimi Collins. Cross court, back to King. She's so gun-shy with that three. That's got to be... Yes. Like a, 400 pound weight off Taylor's shoulder. Yeah, absolutely, but but you're right. You can't be gun shy in that situation. I mean, the ball touched every player's hands for the Hokies, and that extra pass got to shoot it. King as James hits another one off the back rim. Coming into this game in her last four, Kayla King was only 25 percent from three, and that's her bread and butter. Kitley, great look over to Strack. This Kitley can pass too. It's an 8 0 run. This is a team that leads the league in assists. They always have a high assist to made field goal ratio. If they lead the league both in assists and assist to turnover ratio. Is... And she had a great game the last time these two teams met. Had 21 to 4 5 from the three point line, nine rebounds. That was a game that NC State led for all but a minute and a half. <laughs> and it was that crucial minute yes, and a half. it was a crucial minute and a half. <laughs> Kitley hitting the game-winning shot. Off and inbounds. Liz working on Baldwin. Top off the glass. I'm not sure I've seen Liz Kitley go over the left shoulder. <laughs> Hayes driving on Eck. More contact. Another foul. And their one and only year Mississippi State, all freshman SEC. Notre Dame at 6 Eastern, and then there's Kitley, Georgia, Amore, and Virginia Tech. 11% from the three-point line for the Irish. 2 of 18, Louisville 7 of 18. It's hard when you're trying to trade twos and threes. And now we'll see Rivers hold it as long as she can in the waning second to the quarter. And I like this, going zone. So you recognize right away the ISO. Sonia Rivers said, it doesn't matter. I can still elevate. Rivers. With her second bucket of the half. And we have a two-point ball. Fourth quarter, NC State led by 11. Tech went on a 12-nothing run. During which time, NC State missed 11 straight shots. And it set up that miracle and a beautifully executed play to win it. Tech has won three straight in this series. Eck gets her own miss and comes out of the pack. Baker wide left, and here comes Sanai Rivers. This must be terrifying for an opponent. <laughs> Getting her downhill, yes. Sanai. Oh. Pam, Sanai Rivers that can get to the rim and that can pull up on a dime just like that. You correct that, just two turnovers in the first quarter. One of five true freshmen on this Virginia Tech team. NC State also has five. That's a lot, especially for this day and age of transfer portal. It, it really is. And both of these programs have a lot of young players who contribute for them. The veteran players who carry the load. And that's really the balance, right? You've coached both in the collegiate and WNBA Coach of the Year right here. But balancing the youth with the experience. It, it is. And having, you know, Wes Moore talked to us last game about the fact that he likes going with his veterans, right? He likes going with his veterans. But you have to be able to develop the young talent. 
These veterans were once that young talent, and now they've come together. This has been a surprise team in the country to me, but one of those young players who's continuing to learn how to be consistent is Zoe Brooks, and she is instant offense off the bench. We have already had five ties and six lead changes. Ooh. Here's Sanaya Rivers, Amor. Contest, but it's not in time. That's that link, and that's those quick hands. Putting length and size on Georgia Amor. Kitley gets it into Sunil King. Her second three of the night. She can't hesitate. You know, that was no hesitation. Perfect execution. Great kick out. Can you imagine if you're the Virginia Tech Hokies and Kayla King starts to find it from the three-point line? Watch out. Yeah, that would really be a difference maker. Kitley with the block. She's very good at blocking. Averaging over two per game. Second best in the league. I mean, this is just textbook right here. James working on Sunil. Got her off balance. I know you got to pick your poison, and if you're picking your poison, you want Isaiah James shooting step back threes, but when she's hot, you got to find different ways to be disruptive in the two man. Amor, long three. And I hope he's coming back in this zone. He cannot oh. go under. Cannot go under Isaiah James. Eck hits the three. That's her second three. And such good execution. Collins. I'm not sure that's the shot that Westmore wants. You get an opportunity to extend the lead, make them work a little bit on the defensive end. I see Strack. Not a threat to score from out there. Eck. Baldwin doing a good yeah, job good being lead. physical with Kitley. Strack fumbles it a bit. King for three. In and out. Kitley and Collins. Strack. All everybody going for the ball. Amor left open for a three. And Strack got another offensive uh, board. Continuing to earn more time and earn trust. And they're going to make one of them. Cannot give the Hokies that many opportunities. They had four shots on that trip. They averaged nine and a half made threes per game. That is best in the conference. And Kayla King now with three threes on the night. Collins, nope. Kitley with another rebound. That was a good look. Playing in the short corner against the zone. It's a good look for Mimi Collins. Amor gets it over to Strack, who nails the baseline jumper. We get King out, so she does not pick up her third before the break. James up and under. How many different ways can you score? Come on, Cam. Come on. That looked like the, the Hail Mary at the end of the play. Didn't know what to do, and she made it work. What an amazing athlete. Kitley now being guarded by Collins with Baldwin out of the game. Then the double comes. Kitley able to somehow get around it. But as coaches, those are the ones that you'll live with, right? Those are the ones that, you, the ones that they're not used to shooting. It was a brief delay. It was a delay of game warning on Kitley. Tech has two fouls to give. Hey, step back over Amor. Long rebound to Georgia as time expires. Virginia Tech takes a 37-33 lead into the locker room. NC State missed six of its last seven shots. And outside of this, an ACC play really playing to stay in that top 16 seed in the NCAA tournament, according to Charlie Cream. Hang on to a four seed. Uh, that's what Charlie says. If they lose this game, if Tech loses, they will fall out of the top 16. All important because you get to host. There's still a lot of basketball yet left to go. Kayla King. Three threes in the first half. Eck hunted the rebound. Baldwin got in front of Kitley to take the ball away, and then Hayes knew it. She 
had nowhere to go. James guarding Amor. Yep, she's going to face guard her, try to not let her get the ball back. Look, they know the second half is Georgia Amor time. She likes to go to work. Eck with another three. She had two of them in the first half. And the seven-point advantage is the largest of the night for the Hokies. When we saw Kenny Brooks in our game, we had them at Florida State. He told us, I think she's going to make it every time she shoots the basketball. The shooter's mentality. King, yes, the fans here wanted a turnover on the high dribble by Amor, but instead Amor gets another assist, and it's a 10-point advantage. Hayes left open. Got it. Much, much needed. That gets the crowd involved. Amor. Nope. Kitley took her time and got fouled. Second one on Collins. That's right, Oklahoma, the defending champ several times over. Among those teams in action today, Baldwin too strong off glass that time. Amor going to her left. Beautiful. And you know what was else was beautiful? Just the way she set it up. So they got everybody loaded up on one side of the floor. She rejects the screen. Basketball scholarship. She was terrific. All-American and talks to Kenny Brooks while the opposing team is hitting a free throw. They, they communicate the entire game. Yeah, they really do. And she is such an extension of him off the floor. And they watch film together quite frequently, almost after every game. And just there's such great synergy between the two. And that's so important, as you know, for a point guard and head coach to be on the same page. And Eddie Hayes coming off a double-double against Louisville on Monday night. Delivered at the free throw line after X foul. Here's Brooks. Driving on Amor. Maybe that'll get him going. And Zoe Brooks has the ability to change the game with her energy. She can score. Does a great job defensively. Amor tells King to get to the other side of the floor. Goes up in the air for Kitley. Clear out against Baldwin. Yes, goes off the rim. And then Rivers. So effective. No one can stop her in transition. Kitley, baseline, short again. Kept alive by King. Kayla King has been all over the offensive glass. Amor with another miss. Virginia Tech has missed nine of its last 11 shots. Rivers. Kitley with her 10th rebound. Another double-double, and she's just made ACC history. Passing Chris Moreland, the former Duke superstar for most double-doubles in the history of this conference. King, after a hot start, is cooled off from three. Strack gives him an extra possession. Eck, huge. Eck, Amor, and King all have over 53s on the season. That's exceptional. Zoe Brooks, exceptional. Amor. Struggling from the field in this game. And just swatted away by Strack. Eck. King. Pardon me, Wetzel, who's in for King. And Wenzel, it's her turn to join the three party. No, not a lot of sense of urgency in transition defense. You got to get to the three point shooters. This is what. Virginia Tech does. They spread you out. They make over nine a ball game. What a weapon to get it back up to 10. Collins turned, had space, and left it short. And now Virginia Tech can take the final shot of the quarter. Wenzel with the ball in her hands. Amor is all the way on the other side of the floor trying to get through traffic. Kitley doubled. Fans here thought Kitley walked. Amor hanging out. Hits a three. 
Georgia Amor with a shot that just beats the buzzer. They make you work on the defensive end of the floor. You try to come at them in a lot of different ways. They're poised, they're patient, they execute, they find the right play, the open shot. That could be the dagger. A healthy 13-point advantage, and it's no, no, no surprise. It seems like the tougher the opponent, the tougher the moment is, Amor comes through. Yeah, she absolutely does, and she hasn't shot the ball particularly well tonight, but she's had a really good handle on offense and who to get the ball to. And oftentimes, fourth quarter is Georgia Amor time. She's only 3 of 11 from the floor, also has 8 assists and 6 rebounds. Virginia Tech trying to beat State for the second time this season. Baldwin buries it, her first field goal of the night. Virginia Tech, the last team to win in this building. 367 days ago. Kitley going to work on Baldwin. You know it's coming. You know it's coming. She set you up because she's gone a couple of times over the left shoulder. Yep, and that's the Kitley family, as always, in attendance. Rivers, with a big elevation. Yes. Amor, a little bit of room thanks to the Kitley screen. And better balance on that shot. Wasn't falling backwards. I love how at the end of possessions, if the Hokies don't get what they want, they go into that step up on the backside of action. It's tough to defend. Amor and Kitley are so good in it. Hayes, big three. Huge three, Madison Hayes. Boy, the Wolfpack have to find consistent second and third scores. Maddie Hayes can be that. Kitley left open. It's too easy. At some point, you have to make an adjustment. Georgia Amor is so good at that pocket pass. You know Kitley can knock it down. Either you're going to challenge her to make them, or you've got to rotate, stunt, make her think about it. Steel. Hayes follows and was fouled. And Hayes is fired up. Hoping this can kickstart him. Scored in double figures, well over her season average. Got 15 now. And now the pressure after the made free throw. You like the pressure. The Hokies have had a tendency to turn it over here tonight. Maybe you can get a couple of quick scores. Tech shooting into the student section and the band here, the loud part of the arena. King. And Kitley fouled. So Kitley goes to the line. Collins just picked up her third. Starting at four Eastern time. And Kitley missed them both. A rarity. Opportunity to get it back into double digits. Collins back in the game. She has not hit a field goal tonight. Steele steps back. In and out. That's a good look for Lacey Steele. She can knock that down. Amor and Kitley have scored all six points for Virginia Tech in this quarter. And you know you're going to get a steady dose. Good defense by Mimi Collins inside. Got the Kitley assignment with Baldwin out on the bench. Shot clock winding down for Amor. They need a shot. Kitley. Nope. The horns action coming. Hope he's worked on this today in shoot around. Got to get through that screen, though. You cannot allow that mid-range pull-up. Collins in position for the rebound, but Georgia Amor, the smallest player on the floor, went in there and grabbed it, and the possession arrow points in favor of the Hokies. Amor listed at 5'6". She does have one more year of eligibility remaining, and she is on the triple-double watch list right now in this game with 10 points, 8 rebounds, and 9 assists. Had a triple-double last season.
Oh, that was oh, a tough shot. You gotta get something right here if you're a little pack. Get to the rim, put some pressure on the defense, attack. Let's see how each person just sticks. James getting it out to Rivers. Collins with a rare offensive rebound for State tonight. They're getting badly beaten on the boards. Rivers and King get tied up around the Collins screen. A lot of time. Off the clock. Brooks tried to get into Collins. And shot that rolled off the rim. Especially off of an offensive rebound. You, you, get a, you get a reset on the clock. It's a short clock. You got to get the ball to the backside. Defense is in scramble mode. Pitley really having her hands full with Collins. Steps inside. It's not a lot you can do if you're Mimi Collins. You try to work and do your work early, and level of physicality was really good, but Kinley continues to work to get good position. NC State has gone four minutes without scoring a point. It's just too slow. Everybody hold, is holding on to the ball too long. Got to get it moving. Her first trip to the free throw line. Next week, how about NC State at Notre Dame? That should be fun. And then Duke at Virginia Tech all next Thursday. Duke had to come yeah. from behind to beat Wake Forest yes. tonight. And did it soundly? Approaching two minutes to go. Pitley bounces out. Eck is all alone momentarily. Now Amor steps back. Kitley, another rebound in the putback. Elizabeth Kitley doing her work, getting it up to an 11 point lead. Big time collision, and the verdict is a charge on Brooks. You know, this is not a team in Virginia Tech that turns their opponents over a lot, but they play great position defense. This is one of those situations. You know that Zoe Brooks is coming hard to the right hand. Kayla King tries to get herself in position, establish. Looks like she might have still been sliding a little bit. That could have been a blocking call. But what they've done in the fourth quarter, strong, solid position defense, finishing plays with a defensive rebound. That's a foul. And this is one Taylor of those. King coming alive tonight with, from the three-point line. Well, nothing but net crew. They're here. They're here. They're here. They're going to break down the night in the ACC. Kelsey, Kelly, Muffet, and Ivory. So check it out on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. They're tucked in a little corner here. This is such a nice... As Courtney Banghart would say, small gym. <laughs> and um, they'll be uh, here to break down what has been a really interesting night. Another impressive fourth quarter for Virginia Tech. It really is. You know, they just put so much pressure on you to defend perfectly because they make the right play. They share the basketball. Unselfish. And they continue to progress in their offense with such great pace. Now, if you're NC State, are you concerned about these offensive droughts that they have? I think you're concerned about it and, and you go back to the film. The film doesn't lie. The ball's not moving. Players aren't moving. It's stagnant. It's, it's iso ball. Everybody trying to do it on their own. What has made them so tough this year is the balance. Is sharing the basketball. This is a Virginia Tech team that was picked to win the ACC for the first time in the history of their program. NC State picked eight because of the the large turnover, they got out of the gate, 14-0, the first team to beat them, Virginia Tech. And Amor is two rebounds away from a triple-double. This is her third straight, double-double. Virginia Tech will move to 19-4 on the season. The Wolfpack's five-game winning streak comes to a halt. Hayes with the three. Last NC State win was in the ACC semifinals two years ago on their way to their third straight title. 
And then the year after that, it was won by Liz Kitley and company. The Hokies winning their first. And that was funny. Kenny Brooks today at Shootaround said that he and Wes Moore combined for the last four ACC tournament championships. Of course, Wes has three of them, but <laughs> technicality. Technicality. <laughs> they're, they're good friends. They There's certainly a lot of self, uh, you know, respect so for the other. So much respect, yes. One, no doubt about it. Rivers with the foul. And the Hokies travel. We've seen they do. down here a lot of them coming. No matter where they play, they have a nice contingency. Well, the Iowa-Virginia Tech matchup in Charlotte was an outstanding crowd. I think equal on both sides. But Virginia Tech with the double-double from Kitley, the near triple-double for Amor. 12 points, 10 rebounds, and 8 assists for Georgia. And for the second straight year, Virginia Tech has swept NC State. It's the first home loss for NC State since February 6th of last year when Virginia Tech came in here and beat them. And the third time they've beaten the top three team, all three times, it's been NC State. They've they got, got their, their number. number here lately. <laughs> but what a performance for Kenny Brooks and his squad as they have now won six straight games. And they take care of NC State 72 to 61. Kitley played 39 minutes tonight. Got herself a double-double, a couple of blocks. And it might not have always gone exactly as scripted. You know, Georgia Amor struggled from the floor, but that's what this team does, right? They, they're efficient. Liz Kitley is the anchor of everything that they do. They knock shots down from the three-point line. They get hot in a hurry, and then they play good, solid defense to allow themselves to come away with wins. Yeah, Kitley was the ACC Player of the Year last year. She's the preseason Player of the Year this season.